I went up to one of those sixth graders, I ran at sixth grade college, and we always called Mary. Okay, so I need um, set up in your two part office. I need the one here, the four here, the five there. Actually, just set up in your two part. You guys can do it. I don't, I don't know. Anybody can do it. I have, I did the numbers. Since my four all took all around the trail, this was my four. And uh, that way nothing changed. Nobody had to move anywhere different. The only difference out of early game was the five moves up to the free throw line. And I saw them do it in service, I knew they already knew how to set up and what looks like a, a five or a two one two or a two three. Okay, so the one brings the ball down, we're gonna pass here. This is a two. So you guys run two games two up here. So what happens, Mary Cat, this would be the four. So then nothing's any different, but obviously you can do whatever you want. Okay, then the five would pop out. You'd be a little bit lower on this offense. Maybe in two games you're higher, but we're gonna have you move lower. We're gonna pop all the way out to the three point line there. So on the pass to here, you're going to go through and into the corner. You're going to slide down and post up as a three. Got a decent three. You post up. No, it's a good three point shooter. But you post up two. And you really have to be good at practice. You get to the ball. You're going to pull, pull up the ball. Okay? Even though you're not getting it, you can't stand here and watch the play because your man will be sitting there and going to steal the play. Okay? You're going to go into the corner. You're going to come flat down across. You're a little bit lower. I know your team, maybe your team, you're higher on that. You're coming across, passing the ball, and you're passing the her. And right here, you're going to slide up and back pick for her. So as soon as you throw it, you pass her back the ball. And so that your man will lean out, and then you can get the right back pick. You're going to go right over the top of the line. You're posting up. You can watch her man, and you've got to throw that ball to her coach and pass the ball. Okay? Really, the only person that would take it would be this person. They see it coming, they might jump off. And you've got to throw it right to the post. You've got to have somebody here who wants the ball. Because if she cheats on the law, you throw it here and you just shoot the post up. Okay? And again, you can only get it one time. But when the game's on the line and we're out pressuring and it's a one point game or something, and you can get an easy layup, it, 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 it's great. It's demoralizing. Okay, here we go. One, three, eight. Bearcat. Good. Swing it. Swing it. One, three, eight. What's up? Put it in the way. I need to let it work. Okay? There's a couple of passes where everybody's got to sell what they're doing. Okay, we have to act like we want the ball. It's got to be all make believe. Okay, so let's say the two sees it coming and it jumps off and you can't throw the log. Okay, it's going to go hard. So, you straight in for it. So, you can set the screen, and then you're just going to back out and pop, ready to catch and shoot. It's my two. In early game, it was the two that ran the side over here, so we're already all in our right spot. Who's my best three point shooter? They're set the back pick. So, if their man cheats and falls off, it's all right, screen, step out, ready to catch and shoot. Okay? But you're not going to shoot right now. I want you to catch it and reverse it. Her. So you're going over the top, you're going to go along again. As soon as you see she's reversed the her, you've got to peel back out quickly and put the ball on this side and face up. Okay? Okay, and my three, my three, uh, you, you get a back pick for the five. Okay? And then probably slide under because you're, as soon as you pass there, you're going to have to be up here. We get her pick there, you go under, she'll follow you. We're going to get you on the layout. Okay? Come across, you're going to make a pass. Right in here. She's going to have a wide open layup. Okay? All right, here we go. Swing in. Good. Pop out there. Over. Off the ball. Back to the center. Make the lock. Step out. Step out. Step out. Reverse it. Reverse it. Back to the end. Come through the basket. Okay? If you get both, we're running twice. If we're the first time in the lock, I'll say, run it again. Run it again. And then the other coach will say, watch the lock. Watch the lock. I'm going to cheat the switch. They all do that. And we can come back through the layup uh, on the back side. Okay? All right, so three, you back pick for her, and then you're just going to turn right around and you're going to screen for the one, okay? My one came all the way in here to the corner, and we've got all good actresses right now. Whoa, 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 everybody call for the ball, okay? And then you're going to come off with two screens right to the top, and you're going to have a three-pointer on the top, or a dribble drive. Uh, Courtney May would catch this, rip through, and, and go to the basket, okay? So you pop up here, you pop it, and you look at the post coming through, okay, this time you're not going to get it, and then you go all the way to the dead area and turn around the face. Okay, if you want her to stop and post up to have a mismatch, or maybe they get switched, stop, post up, get the ball, that's fine. But you can't stay here too long and you pull out in the middle. So I always have them go two steps to the, what I call the dead area. Start the sword over here, the shelf the, the post here, and face up. And usually if you just face up, this girl will be worried that she's going to throw it to you, even though you can't really score from there. But you're going to go all the way to there. That's the open middle, okay? So you pop here, and you're passing it over to that side, and you're going to shoot for the one right here. So we're going to get a double pick. For the what? Comes up with three really good options. You got the lob, got the post sliding through, 
where either one man coming off of two screens, and they lose their mid by then. You know, nobody knows who the guard is by the time you get to the end of it. Okay? So you're going to have either shot or river down the middle. If you're coming off those two screens, you're going to stand two screens from, from her right there and from her right here. You come off of both those screens, you feel the girl following you, you just curl the top screen and you press it this way right down the middle of the basket. Okay? Alright, let's see how we do it. Go. Very tight. All the way through. All the way through. All the way through. Step out. Reverse it back here. Come in. Two screens right here. Two screens right here. Two screens right here. Me and her are coming around. Now we're going to the back. So we might be a little farther out than the middle here. So she's got a lot more room to curl that. Okay, she's got three pretty good options. It's not really an offense, but it's, it's a good quick hit on the lob. Pass pass lob. Pass pass all the way through the layup. Pass pass all the way through the point guard. Now, if you still have time and you want to run something, point guard has the ball. And she can just back it up and say, hey, let's run early game or something. So we can bring the point guard back around. Okay? So we used to run that at the end of the game, end of the quarter, end of the half. We've got four opportunities to get a basket for the last possession. That's a good play for that. Okay? All right, next one. Uh, so that's against man to man, not against zone. What we're playing man to man works even better. Okay, this one's called a box. Let's get my um, five here and four here. Let's put the point guard up there. Say so box three. And my two is here. Box three. We're setting up in a box formation and we're going to get a three pointer. Okay. So, ball side, she's going to pick a side and dribble out wide away. Ball side is going to screen across here. You slide across and you guys are going to get an elevator door. No, you can not it's just cheese straight across. You guys are going to just take a you know, single rest of step into the middle. And as soon as she runs through, you guys close together, the elevator doors. Okay, so she has a three pointer on the top. You have a three pointer on the top. Shelly, it's like Tushi. Well, she should. <laughs> we love to run through these. Combination? Cost <laughs> money to get in to watch a high school game. If you're going to walk, you've got to pay. <laughs> no watcher. <laughs> okay, is that good? Are you see it again? That's good. Okay, so let's go to that zone play. Okay. Call this topic. Okay. Uh, one's over there, two and three are shooters over here. If, if they don't jump very well, then you might have to reverse your form. 
Ten. She okay. she hasn't done the five for me. Yet. <laughs> we don't lose track of these things. <laughs> you give us five later. Nice. 
<laughs> I, I think that was lunch you did earlier. Tired around. Okay, you guys have the idea? Mark one with the 6 keyboards. I'll take it the college every time. So once that stops, but you can only run it maybe once or twice a game, once in the first half, and forget about it once in the second half. And it's got to be similar to your throw up in too, so again, it's a last second play. But it's a great, a great play. You can practice it. It's a lot of practice to get down, but you don't need it once. Okay, so we think we're about straight, and then we are done. So I need my four here, my four always takes all the bounds, so we should be down right here on free throw. Five is here, my one is here, the point guard here, and my three is here. And now I two on the other side. But usually the two would be my back core line, but you're not going to be able to run through here, so just start playing this game. So that's where the two would be. You know, if you're close enough where you can come help, get into the office, it's the rebound. Okay? So free throw fast break. On my team, the four always took all the bounds, so we always put them on the right so they're ready to go. I made a basket, it's just right here, I'm away from the backboard, so I can throw it into the what? Um, my son's team made this big old number uh, five man, can't jump. He runs on his heels, he's a pretty big kid, kind of heavy. It, it hits the rim, it comes right at him, and it, you know, he takes off on him, his nose is supposed to sprint down there. I said, Aiden, why don't you catch the ball and flip it to him? Oh, okay. So we go a lot faster now. If he hits the rim, they make it, it jets down, he catches it, he pitches it to him, and we're going down the side as fast as we can. So you want to get it, but if it hits the rim, it comes through the middle of the rockets, they do. I'm talking about a mid, a miss. Okay, you don't have to take that down as a miss, okay? Just run it back. But we're talking about a mid. Practice on a mid basket. Why don't you free throw fast break to keep him down the court? You have a shooter, and then you have a right field out to the side. We want you to catch it while you're moving right here. Catch, one dribble, and we get it to the three. So you got to help rebound. I usually have my three step on this person's foot. They step in, and they sound strong, and they just fall down, and you can't get in there. So you pinch, slow that person down. You're on your own, you're on five, the biggest post, you've got to be able to lock that person out. You got a shooter, okay, you're running to there, you're running straight down the middle, maybe not just half or it's off. So you're gonna have to shoot because you've got, you got a five that's made down there, okay? So you, after you rebound, you step in her and you see it's a made basket, and she's hot side of the bounds, you are sprinting in half court. You're not lost it, you do that time. It's gonna go into the one, she's gonna kick it to you, you're gonna have about one for one into the two. We get the ball to two, and the five will be open, we're going to right down the middle. If everybody sprints to their spot. Ready? Just making sure you're ready. Oh, that's not close. That's a shot out. Okay. I'm taking on the 